Only one substitute so far in the game. He's in the, made in the timeout. Just for foul. Replaced by Alex Tyus and Darius Thompson continues. You have to get some rim protection through a zone defense. The man defense being ripped apart. There is Thompson with the back door cut. Lighty says he was fouled. Referee says get back on D. And Kotsar is fouled and he will get the M1. Every time down the floor, they just run and run. And eventually the defense breaks down and they get three or four easy baskets a game, just like that. So Basconia will have to do a thoroughly professional job. They want to keep their home court status continuing. That's one way to do it. Although, best pass. Howard looking to find Enoch in the low post. Gets Costello up top. Marinkovic well, goes to the showmanship and is rewarded with the assist and a spectacular bucket. Marinkovic over his head. Something, but if that shot is off the mark. Right now, he's got his team. He's leading them on defense. But the defense breaks down as cuts up. Basconia, opportunity to stay ahead. And then all it takes is a simple breakdown on defense like that. Stay with your man and do not leave Decolo of all players open for three. This is a game where they're going to have to try and wear down Villaban. Try and get them with fatigue and with outstanding passing. Just so some context on this free throw situation. Bost checks the scoreboard. Tyus has it stolen. Darius Thompson with the steal. Stephen Enoch with the slam done. And that's a statement slam. I get the spirit of what Marcus Howard is looking to do. It's just not. I don't know. The modern game will put it down to that. Nine steals for Basconia. But it's a very fine line. Difficult to find where it is as the assists rack up for Basconia. Basconia. Dubritis cross court. Kurutz is having a night. In the reckoning for the highest scoring, certainly the highest.